Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming and today we're going to be going through how you can unlock the Goliath race in Forza Horizon 5. Now it's really really easy to do and you can actually unlock it quite early on in the game unlike most other Horizon games. Now in order to unlock it first of all uh, you're going to want to basically level up through your accolades so complete the initial drive, the first few races, unlock the first house and then continue doing more events and races as you continue to build up your accolades and leveling them up. Now once you go into your Horizon Festival you'll be able to build and invest in multiple Horizon Festival stages but the one you want to focus on in order to unlock the Goliath race is the Horizon Festival main stage in Mexico. Now all you'll need is two points from earning all these accolades and that's to unlock the Vocho uh, sort of story mode and then you can unlock the Goliath race with one of those points. Now you can invest in various others, I believe it makes you invest in one other first, but then you can go back to the main stage and invest into this and unlock the Goliath race. Now what I'm basically going to show you is the car that I use for this um, and then just show you snippets or across various biomes throughout the race and the results at the very end. Now this race it says there is 34 miles so it is quite a big one of course this is the biggest map that they've done uh, so it will take you a fair amount of time depending on which car you used. Now, talking of cars, uh, I used the 2011 BMW X5M Forza Edition. Now, I'd recommend using a Forza Edition. Uh, it may not be the fastest car in the world and it may not be the best handling, but it gives you something very important and that is the Event XP Boost. So, of course, you can use a super quick hypercar uh, that's just standard, not Forza Edition, and you'll complete it probably a bit quicker. But I think when you're doing a massive race like this, it's worth making the most of it and using a Forza Edition car, which is why I use this X5M. Like I said, it's not the quickest, it's not got the highest top speed. All these other cars will sort of outpace you on a straight line, um, but it's still a pretty quick car to be fair by most standards. And at the very end, you will get that XP boost. Now for this one, I only did one lap. Of course, I will be doing more laps in later videos, uh, but I just really wanted to show you guys how to unlock this race. Um, the other thing that obviously will affect the results is your sort of skill level, uh, what level your driver tiles are on, if you're using manual or automatic, um, turning on all the assists and stuff like that. So mine's on highly skilled driver tiles and majority of the assists are pretty much all off. Um, so depending on what you're using will then depend on your final results and your outcome anyway i'm gonna hush now and let you watch various clips across the whole goliath race like i said it's just basically going to be going through clips of each biome pretty much uh, i didn't want to show you the whole race because i figured it might get quite boring so i've cut it down a bit um but i'll pipe back up at the end of the video just to go through the results
And there you have it. So a final time of 11 minutes and 42 seconds for one lap, which isn't amazing, but it's not bad. Of course, you've got to remember the car we're in. It's not hypercar quick. Um, so you will be able to get much quicker lap times using different cars. But we wanted to utilize the Event XP with this Forza Edition car. Now, the results weren't too bad considering it was an 11 minute race and it was only one lap. So we racked up 40,000 XP points, which is pretty good. That enabled me to level up, I think it's about three times. Um, plenty of accolade points. And although it doesn't actually show your final credit earnings, it was about 160 something thousand credits. So I was on about 667,000. Um, and now it's turned to about 830,000. So all in all, it's not a bad result. Obviously, if you're gonna do 10 laps, it's gonna be much, much more uh, credit credits and xp and if you're going to do something ridiculous like 50 laps it's going to be very well worth it although it probably will take you uh, about seven hours or so depending on what car you're going to use um but hopefully this video helped you out and you can all hop onto the goliath race now uh, or whenever you hop onto the game um it's like i said super easy to unlock and you can get it very early on if you do struggle with anything, just let me know down below in the comments. I'm always, always happy to help you guys out as best as I can. And if you did enjoy, I would very much appreciate if you could drop a like and of course subscribe because I'll bring out tons and tons more of Forza Horizon 5 videos. Hopefully you'll find them interesting and very helpful, but stick around for them. But apart from that, folks, I want to wish you all the best. Make sure you stay safe and take care.